from Uncle Morty, you're canceling Passover. Are you crazy? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? We have never canceled Passover, Andrea. Never, never, never. Not during the acquisition. Not during the pogroms. Not during the plague of the locusts. The plague of the locusts was before Passover. Exactly, you proved my point. We are not canceling Passover. We're just looking into some other options. Forget options. We always have Passover at my house, and this year's no different. I've invited your cousins, and Edith is coming from Florida. Your brother is going to finally show up for a change. Neil? You have another brother? I don't think Neil's going to be there. Neil is a son who loves his mother. He'll be here, and so will you. I would love to be there. It's just not possible. Why not? You know why not. Oh, you're not buying the rumors, I hope. Mom, they are not rumors, okay? This is really serious. I don't believe it. I was out with Mrs. Silverstein this morning, and she said, we're not sissies. No, no, wait, wait. You went out? Just for coffee and a pastry. I had a lovely almond croissant with raspberries. Amazing. We used to go to Barney Greengrass, but they're so busy these days. Nobody goes there. It's too crowded. <laughs> you know who said that? Groucho Marx. Groucho Marx never missed a Seder. And neither will I. Groucho Marx did not say that. Yogi Berra said that. Yogi Berra was Jewish? Okay, look, Mom, I do not want you going out, okay? It's too dangerous. What do you know from dangerous? In my day, dangerous was stepping on a rusty nail. That was dangerous. This? <sighs> okay, I, I, I need you to understand this, okay? You are exactly the demographic for this disease. Demographic? You and your fancy marketing talk. I'm not kidding. It targets old people. So let the old people worry. I'll be fine. I never get sick. You are always sick. Only when the seasons change. Look, you die when your number's up. Till then, you live. And I would like to keep it that way, okay? I would like for Sammy to grow up with a grandmother. Aw, how's my little princess? She's fine. She's uh, freaking out a little bit. Well, you tell her grandma has a special little something for her when she comes over for Seder. We are not coming for Seder. Yes, you are. My only daughter's not going to stand me up in front of her whole family. The whole family is not going to be there, Ma. You cannot have any visitors, OK? Not even Elijah. Not even Tess Silverstein. I have to celebrate Pesach alone? I... Oh, Mom, Mom, you're not going to be alone. You're going to be with us. I'm not schlepping to New Jersey for Seda. No, no, we're going to do it on Zoom. Zoom? What the hell is Zoom? Is it like this, schlep? No, this is... This is... <laughs> This is not called schlep. This is called Skype. And it's like Skype, but Zoom is bigger. You can have like a hundred people signed on. What do I want with a hundred people? How can I feed them? Oh, they make their own food, Ma. You're gonna make gefilte fish? <laughs> this I gotta see. I can cook, Mom. I can certainly make gefilte fish. Ah, uh, you don't have the recipe. I'll get it online. From who? Betty Crocker? Sammy is just going to eat pizza anyway. Pizza? And a Seda? No, we'll make it with a matzo crust. Don't worry. Well, what about the chicken soup? I got 27 jars of chicken soup in my freezer waiting for deliverance. Mom, 
in the near future, I hope, when we can all be together again, we will eat your chicken soup till we plot. But for now, that's not possible. I, I don't know, Andre. What about tradition? What about having your loved ones around you? 40 years in the desert, 2,000 years of persecution. And this is how we wind up zooming at each other. Crazy. Okay, Mom, the Seder is always crazy, okay? Somebody has too much to drink. Somebody gets in a big fight. Somebody ends up canoodling with Cousin Susie in the closet, right? Remember the time Daddy lit the brisket on fire? Those were the days. So, Seder, Passover, it's always crazy. It's always different. And this year, it's just going to be a little more different. You said it. Mom, we would love to have you with us, okay? I know this whole thing seems stupid to you, but it would mean the world to us. What is it called? Rum? Zoom. Zoom. Okay, we'll zoom. I'll teach you how to make my chicken soup and matzo balls and get filthy fish. And your family, at least, will have a proper Passover. You want to? You never want to share your recipe. It's time. You want to know when my mother shared her recipe with me? After her funeral, I found them in a safe deposit box. They were more sacred than the Dead Sea Scrolls. But really, the Dead Sea Scrolls? Never mind, it's all gonna work out, Bubbly. Don't worry. You know how to make a filter fish? You just get a big fish and you can filter it. You sure you wanna do this? I'm sure, I'm positive. I can't wait. Neither can I. <laughs> Bye, Mom. This is going to be the worst Passover ever. Hi, Mom. Call me crazy. That was the best Passover ever. You think so? It was wonderful. I had such a good time. Oh, so did I. <laughs> what did we have? 198 people there? At one point, we had 23 people logged on. I can't believe it. And Edith, all the way from Florida, Uncle Leo, even Neil showed up. Well, he is a son who loves his mother. And Cousin Matthew? He's been social distancing for years. I can't believe yet it called in from Jerusalem. She looked good. She looked old. She looked like Yetta. And how'd my princess like it? Oh, she loved the matzo balls. Ah, uh, matzo balls with mozzarella. Oi. Then nothing will ever be as good as the ones grandma makes. One day her kids will say the same to you. You know, honey, I think this was the most special Seder of all. I think so, too. Until next year, when God willing, we'll all get together again under one roof in Jersey. No, no, Mom. We'll come to you. Tradition. Tradition. Ugh. Look, with your father gone, I don't have the energy. I can't do everything. You and your family, you lead the Seder. Me? Are you sure? Listen. You know what Seda is about? It's about teaching the kids the story of how we've always overcome every obstacle. Right? Faced our enemies and challenges, honoring our ancestors, and maybe even inspiring our kids when the time comes for them to do the same. And this sure is one of those times. So... I'm passing the matzah. Don't burn the brisket. Oh, Ma, I miss you. I wish I could give you a hug. Hug your family. That'll help. I know, I know, I know.
So how are you guys fixed for toilet paper? Um, we're, we're fine. Well, remember, if you eat more matzah, you won't need as much toilet paper. Constipation. Oh, Mom! <laughs> That's all zooming off. Okay. Bye, Mom. I love you. I love you too, kid. Oh, now what am I going to do with 27 jars of chicken soup? Mm -hmm.